Hi students, this is Professor Mink here with another exciting video that you can watch at 3 o'clock in the morning if you can't sleep. In front of us we have figure 3.12 from page 61 of your textbook. And this shows a gate level description of a two input multiplexer more commonly referred to as a MUX. And the function of a MUX is to select one of the inputs and connect it to the output. In this case, we have binary inputs on A and B, binary meaning 0 and 1. So A is carrying a 0 or 1, and B is carrying a 0 or 1. This MUX works as follows. Suppose, as we see in figure B, that the select signal S, which determines which input is connected to the output, carries a 0. Since the output of an AND gate is 0, unless all inputs are 1, the output of this rightmost AND gate is going to be 0. Also, the output of the leftmost AND gate is going to be whatever the input A is, because we have a p-type transistor, which turns the select signal from, a, in this case, a 0 to a 1. So A, whatever A is carrying, is anded with a 1. Since the output of the rightmost AND gate is 0, it has no effect on the OR gate. Consequently, the output at C is going to be exactly the same as the output of the leftmost AND gate. The net result of all this is that if S equals 0, the output C matches the input A. On the other hand, if S equals 1, it is B that is anded with a 1, and A is anded with a 0 because of the p-type transistor, resulting in the output of the OR gate having the value of B. I hope this helps. I'm going to discuss this at length in class to make sure we're all clear, but here it is for you to access 24-7. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.